Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Ixion. We've had many accidents, I'm sure you saw right at the end of last episode. We had one of our foundries break down and it injured 17 people. Nobody died wildly. Um, and then we had another an injury in Sector 6. Uh... In the, in the crop farm of all places. So we have a lot of injured people all of a sudden. Part of the problem here is two of the people can't even go to the hospital and they'll die after a few cycles if they don't get in. But I'm kind of hoping these two people will get kicked out and then the two people will be able to go into the hospital. Mushroom wall has been unlocked, congrats me. Right, so we got cell housing, legislative strengthening. We're working on the retractable pole because it doesn't take any science. But let's let's take a look. So like steel mill, we could get waste heat recovery. Not super important. All of this stuff is locked off. Oh, well, that's locked off. Part of that is there's not a whole lot available to us right now either. Optimization. Mining faster, maybe? Oh, we should sh shut off our... Uh... We should definitely shut off our... our um... Airlock, so, so we save a little bit. Of, of alloy because we've been running uh, our hull integrity at 50% for who knows how long probably all of the last two episodes <laughs> so it's quite a while we've unlocked the mushroom wall so, so wall buildings are very interesting there's they have to be attached to the wall here so it's kind of like our space buildings that's where they go so if you see anything that's attached to the wall. We also finished our mining ship. Its name is Doom, which is rad as hell. I love it. We want to send that bad boy out. Come on, Talia and Margo. Get out of the hospital so your two fellows can, can get in. That's all I'm waiting on. This guy needs to get re rebooted. These guys are working extra hours because you came back on, but why don't we shut off this farm for now? Just to make sure there's no more accidents. And maybe what we want to do is research uh, hospital optimization. Where is that at? I know med bay is a thing. There it is. More beds. Maybe that's it. You know what? More beds is not a bad thing. If we could get that knocked out. And then we set you after the fact. Let's get that researched. These guys should be punching out some more alloy shortly. Okay, so let's take a look at the, the overall map now. So you've finished your research at Chevy 34. Let's bring you around the storm here. Don't go that way. Go like this. Then... So the Protagoras is still ongoing. We need to finish, you know, digging it out of the out of the ice first of all. We also need to start training colonists. But in order to do so, we need to start building this guy. How much spare alloy do we have? We have 133. It's not a lot. It'll take 90 to do. But we are we have paused the uh, repairs for now. So why don't we kick this on? Or, uh, t yeah, turn the power off, but, but start building it. Why don't we turn you off for a second? Turn you on so you can deliver the electronics. There we go. Come on, you two. Get out of the hospital. There we go. The electronics have been delivered. You can be shut off. Now you can be turned back on. How many spare workers we got? 11. So we could build two more farm facilities. We should continue to do so. Look at that. 
almost back online. Actually, we'll probably want to turn you off. Oh. Yeah, as soon as as soon as it's available again, we want to turn it off because it's going to put us into overwork immediately or like the the available workers will put us in in uh overworked status. Okay, it's back on. It's back on. Shut it off. All right, we'll shut you off then since we can shut you down. <laughs> and we'll put you guys to work over here then. We're just moving you across the sector. Oh wait, do we have 30 spare workers? Oh. I guess they were accounted for in the when it was stuck. So that's good. That means we have nine spare workers. Good to know. We can shut you off. Save five workers. You guys are still working. What are we at? 16. It's not enough to fire up the electronics factory. But we, we could consider... Well, this, this needs to get built first. I'm thinking, like, long term, eventually we'll want to move these insect farms out of here. What would we want to replace them with? Like, would we want uh, even more steel processing power? We actually fit fairly well in this central spot, actually. And then you could build two sets of houses next to it for more for more people space. You could also build a couple batteries if need be. What are we at running right now? We would have 1.2 cycles worth. And how long? Like, I guess I don't know where we're, we'd be flying to. <laughs> but... We have 1.2 cycles worth of uh, battery juice in that sector. All's going down, that's to be expected. Still building this guy. But we are starting to build up a, a surplus of, of alloy, especially because we're utilizing our garbage at the same time, which is great. Ah, reorganization of care, that's good. I don't think anybody died, because I think they did kick those two people out of the hospital. So that's good. We have 10 spare... Oh, there's nothing to actually speed up healthcare. <laughs> it's literally just more beds. For some reason, I thought you could speed up healthcare. Ooh. I didn't know this was an option. That should have been like a high priority from the get-go for me. To get more beds in, in the houses we have. That seems really useful. All right, have you made it around the storm? You have, good. Facult, you can change your target now. I would like you, as long as you're not going through the storm. Right there. Yes, that's fine. Yeah, go straight to the Protagoras. No need to go to this funny little ice block. We do have another pro, but do we want to use it? We've got a lot of ice, but we're still, there's still a lot of ice on the map. So I almost think like iron is our highest priority, but I don't know if there's much iron left to be found. I guess there's some here find it oh there we found all the iron on the map right there hit that because there's only 60 600 and some left so the other thing we could consider doing but it, it detrimental to our hull's integrity would be opening another sector although each sector only adds minus eight to the hull so it is, you know, compatible. And if it got really bad, we could build another EVA airlock to try and compensate for that. Let's let them complete this building. And then we can start training uh, colonists. I think we would like to have 60 total. So let's take a look at what our population looks like in this sector. We don't have a lot of spare space. We need to have a maximum or a total of of uh, 60 spare population to put normal people into this district. So let's go ahead. We're almost done with this guy. Let's go ahead and build another optimized quarter. And 
and then what that'll do for us is we'll we'll get 40 more people that we can house here and then once we get this guy researched i assume we'll get some research once we free the protagoras from its hole in the ground um still got a ways to go though but i assume we'll get some science from that that'd be good of course the this guy is producing three science every every five cycles however if we want to get this guy knocked out what is this 25 more science so that's 40 cycles <laughs> It's a long time to wait. Hopefully the Protagoras gets knocked out fairly soon. This guy also produces a lot of science, but it's going to take us a while. Because, like I said, we'll have to, you know, get people recruited. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't know I could prematurely harvest if I needed to. We are losing food pretty, pretty rapidly. We do have spare... And part of the reason we have spare people is because... This guy hasn't been built yet, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Because once this guy is built, we actually are short by one worker. So we don't want to get into the place where we're... Although what I should do, I should transfer workers only from Sector 1 to Sector 6. Just send 5, and then follow it with non-workers. And we'd like to send a total of 60 of those to get them trained as colonists. But we don't want to do that until our our population zones can handle it. But those five workers will compensate for this guy just fine. So much water. We're set for water, man. I know some people, like, if you, you see discussions of this game, some people are like, I thought I'd run out of water. It's like, it's very hard to run out of water in this game, I think. Yeah, still, we're processing most of our iron, which is a little concerning. Although the ships should be bringing it back, right? This guy should be anyway. Part of it is this guy is really absorbed in digging out ice. Thank you for finding even more iron out here. What did you find? Ooh, 423. You like doubled the, the amount of iron available to us. All right, let's probe it up. We've got to get the, the silicon and the iron already. Or, I mean, sorry, the silicon and the carbon available to us already. Although this spot looks pretty good. You see how it goes from high to medium, but the bar for iron jumps up. Can somebody explain that to me? Like, why would that be the case? Like, why is this medium? Whatever. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, it seems counterintuitive that the thing says high, but the bars are lower. I don't know, man. I just work here. Population transfer complete. Building storage is full. Oh no! Uh, let's transfer even more polymer out of, of out of uh, zone one if we can. Sick, sector six. Let's do max. Get it out of here. We can always move more. We can always make more polymer. There we go. That's what we need. Because these guys couldn't couldn't make any more polymer, which in re resulting of we couldn't make any more or uh, use any more carbon, and now it's backlogging into our dock, which is never good. All right, how many spare people we got in this district? Workers, that is. Eight, which is good, perfect number. We can fire up the colonization training center. Oh, actually, we shouldn't do that. Well, we have, we have eight people. Four will go to work here. And then these four will start training people once we have transferred non-workers from Sector 1 to Sector 6. And we'll start by transferring... We've got space for 59, so why don't we start with 40? And 
And we could always build another optimized quarter if need be. Train 15 colonists over five cycles using one. Oh, it uses electronic. Well, well, well. Hmm. We might want to rethink how this is set up then. Actually, you know what I should we should do? We should shut down the polymer refinery. It would give us 15 workers back. And then fire up the old electronics factory. Caution. Hull integrity. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. 50%. That is fine. I, I expected that to happen. Still making making food. How much are you producing? 48? Kind of hard to keep track of. I think we'll go ahead. Oh, there's our max water. That's interesting. I wonder if there's a way to increase that. Water cannot be moved between sectors, so don't, keep that in mind. There's no pipes in this ship. Okay, so we've got a spare nine people. So we can turn you into electronics handling. We still have spare people. We actually chewed through all of the iron on the ship. Well, I just, I didn't see what that said. It said the crew is experiencing something, which is not good. The, ex the crew experiencing anything in this ship is never a good thing. In my estimation. Population transfer complete. We're not back up to 100% efficiency, so why don't we hold off on that? 40 people have been transferred over. Let's fire up the old colonization center and let's train 15 colonists we don't have any electric uh, oh you know why turn this guy off turn you on transfer the electronic and we can get the first colonists trained let's check out the probe again I keep probing because if we ever get to the point where we're not interested in searching for anything anymore, we can shut that thing off and save on the workers. There was a large spike of iron right there. That's important. Three sixty one. We're almost. We've almost freed the Protagoras. These guys are being trained. Fantastic. You guys are producing. Not quite. Almost producing an electronic. It'll take three cycles to make one electronic, which is faster than we train colonists, so that actually works out just fine. A probe has completed its scan. That was fast. Oh, was that a different probe? It must have been. Over here? Looks like it. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Dang it. Did the mi the mining ship go back? It must have. Oh, no. It's only got two. Yes, it's done it. Woohoo. Holy balls. <laughs> well, that's where all of our uh, polymers are going to go, huh? Uh, repair the superstructure. It's going to take a hundred alloy. Gross. Well... If it's got to be done, it's got to be done. Um, let's take the Grail and have have that it do it. Holy hell! It's gonna take so much food and so much alloy. There goes all my alloy. Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Grody. Well, the Facult is is now. Uh, tied up in that so well interesting
Yeah, I'm leaning more and more to the only thing now holding me back from this is the fact that it's going to take even more alloy and more electronics to open this up and 40 workers, which we don't have. Spare, anyway. I, I mean, maybe once these people are through the hospital cycle, because this will give us 15 back, right? Yeah. And we are getting... We have seven spares, so... We'll just keep thawing people out. Yeah, send non-workers to Sector 6, actually. That's a good place for them to go. What are we at population-wise in Sector 6? We have 19 spaces. Hull integrity, what are we down to? 98? Wait, wait a minute. Hold. Let's build this guy. How's our food doing? Our food is gaining now. That's great. Keep an eye on that. We're actually building electronic. Fantastic news. It's a delicate balance here. Huzzah. All right. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I don't... A new request awaits your attention. You buggers. All right, what's the request? Where is it at? Why can't I find it? There it is. The novelty of eating crops grown in space delights the crew, even if purely perceptual... The turning of the ordinary into the extraordinary can have a profound effect on judgment, elevating the otherwise humble to the sublime. Oh, sick! Dude! <laughs> Party on the ship! <laughs> oh, uh, well... We don't have spare people. This is where I'd like to shut down the probe launcher. Co a lot of carbon. More iron, I saw. Oh! even more is right next to the other oh it's because you're still flying there though that looks like a decent haul right there I'm trying to see if there's anywhere else that's like somewhat worthy a lot of carbon and silicon like a smattering of carbon and silicon mixed in there ice carbon iron a lot of carbon right there We don't really want to go over here ever again. Yeah, there's so much iron out here too. I I, I don't want to risk it. It would be so tricky to get to get back to the ship. Some hydrogen out there. Interesting. I think we get this one spike of car iron and carbon. Where was that? I lost track of it. Oh, not there. Right over here. Oh. There it is. Oh, that's different. That's good, though. And then why don't we shut you off for now? And then we can turn you back on to gather the waste out of this district. You never want the field to get clogged with waste because then it stops producing food. And that's bad for everyone. And now we can actually reverse the situation. Originally, we were de exporting food. Um, from Sector 6. But now we should be... Or, I mean, sorry, from Sector 1. But now we should be exporting it from Sector 6 to 1. Silicon is still filling up our storage. Iron is empty. to empty this uh, docking bay. The thing is, once you once your electronics, you know, gets off the ground, it really burns through silicon really fast. Because, you know, we only have 135 silicon for us. Right now, that equals four electronic. <laughs> so we'll burn through the electronic quite quickly, and then we'll clear all of our, our silicon storage as well. We're actually fairly close to knocking out another one of these uh, cryopod storages as well. A probe has completed its scan. Congrats, probe. 
Well done. We turn the area lock back on. So our hull is climbing back up. You people are still under training. We're building a new... A new live-in structure, which is good. 103 spare alloy. Okay. Halfway to making 50 alloy from our recycling, which is great. And it's good, good news about the waste is this guy is starting to produce waste too. Because basically we weren't close, we were close, but not quite to filling this thing with more waste as soon as it was done. So it was sitting around not actually processing materials for a while. We're about halfway to finishing our, technology you're carrying 30 alloy currently that ship is going to take a while kind of wonder if it wouldn't be worthwhile moving the tycoon because most of our alloy or most of our resources are in this side of the uh the s system I, I almost said galaxy but that's not right so I'm kind of thinking, like, ideally, you would want to move to Mac R. And then you're kind of in the center of everything. But it will take us 2.8 cycles to get there. So we'd need to build a lot more batteries than what we currently have. Right now, we have a spare amount of population here. But the real issue is the amount of alloys it would take us to build that many batteries. So right now we're sitting at two batteries in this district and that gives us 1.2 one cycle actually the other thing is we could shut off a lot of buildings like we could shut off the tech lab could shut off all of our factories and in fact maybe that's a good thing to do because we don't have the iron anymore a probe has completed its or maybe just like process this one And then fire this guy up with 24 spare workforce. I guess that's a way to get a new uh, the, the the amount of workers you need to open up a new district is uh, stop running one of your steel mills because we don't have the iron. And that part of that problem is that these guys are having to travel a really long ways to bring iron back. We should stop bringing back ice, actually, because we're starting to get full. Maybe not full, but... We're going to swap these ships around here. There we go. This one's carrying ice right now. We'll we'll be able to shift that out of the dock. Like I could always swap over this silicon or something, or one of these even spare, like this guy. We could turn that to ice for a moment and then shift it over to, to District 6. It'll be fine. All right, so I think we're setting ourselves up for, for future success here. We've got you guys being trained. Let's train the next 15. Um... There's, there goes that. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're processing silicon. That's great. We're, the, only, the only concerning part right now is trying to keep up with our iron production. So I think we're going to try and refocus on that. And then we're going to try and uh, maybe once we get this, this technology knocked out, we're going to try and get our, our ability to travel higher up so we can move the tycoon to Mac R, so it's a bit more central to all of these resources. So it's easier for our ships to transport to and from the Tycoon, um, which will help us in the long run. But for now, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more episodes of Ixion or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have your notifications on so you know when the next videos go live. But until next time, everybody, I hope you had a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody!